Roselle, New Jersey. I, I would like to ask the, uh, the body to please to give my five minutes to uh, former Councilwoman Sylvia Turner to finish what she has to say. Thank you. I'm, so, I'm sorry that's against our rules. Can I, someone cannot speak the second time. I'm sorry. I can't give my, my time though. No, I'm sorry you cannot. Okay, I'll give you the mic. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who's worse, hers or mine. Uh, I, I was here last month and I, I, I expressed my, my concerns about this whole function. Um, as a PTO mom for 25 years, I'm going to repeat what I said, and I have some other things that I have to say in addition to what I said last month, that um, over the years I've had, you know, um, worse conditions in the school system. We have 84% of our school children free or reduced lunch. We have mothers coming home from work after working long hours and picking up their children at daycare and from right after school at daycare at six, seven o'clock at night and finding her, the furniture of their home out on the curb because they just lost their home. For they're holding on to grace of God for a solution even though they knew that they had to come up with their payments on time. And this is what they have. We get phone calls from parents sleeping in their car over the weekend to try to find a room for their three children because they were thrown out because they didn't have enough money to pay the roof over their head, whether it be rent or taxes. Because we all know even renters are going to get the brunt of this because their rent is going to be increased. We have Council people not thinking of what the people are able to, to, to afford. We have 30 year tax abatements for businesses that are coming into town, which we will not profit, if any. We have a 90, 932 unit at our old golf course that has a 30 year tax abatement. And it's on the first stage. What are we going to do with those children? It's not to say that we all want to be central, we all want a school for our children and for our grandchildren. We want, you know, the community to, to flourish. But if we can't afford it, and if we cannot afford a roof over our head, how in the world is this community center even going to have anyone in there? We have children not knowing if their parents are even going to be able to even attend the next school year. We have increase in property taxes as of this 2017, over $200 to each homeowner. How are we going to afford 520? And that's not even including the operational costs. I have a 99-year-old grandmother, great-grandmother across the street right now paying $14,000 a year. What is she going to be paying two years from now, three years from now? And I got to say, if she even makes it, it's unfortunate. And then we all know that at that age, she probably retired 35, 40 years ago. What is she getting, $1,000 a month in Social Security? Without any pension? We have to, you know, think about this. This is, this is ridiculous. We have a couple of people up there that have control and think that they want to tell the people what to do. Well, we want to tell the people that have control what we want them to do. Because don't come knocking at our doors come election time and think that we're going to be voting for you. And that, that goes cross board. That goes cross board. Local, state, everything. Well, we will remember, we will remember who voted for and against this project. And like I said, it's a threat, and it's going to be a real problem in Roselle, and that threat will come to fruition. I can guarantee you that. As long as I'm here, I will make sure that we will do the right thing. I'm 54 years old. I don't need to be thrown out of my house for ridiculous and unreasonable, you know, accountability. It's ridiculous. So please, I'm asking you, Please put this project aside until 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.